Welcome to Paranormality Magazine. Each week, Paranormality Magazine explores all Fortean subjects, from phantoms to UFOs and every cryptid creature in between. Each week, you're treated to a collection of well-researched and investigated stories, interviews, and reports on cutting-edge paranormal projects and topics they know you crave. And here in the podcast, I share stories from the magazine to give you just a taste of what you receive in every issue. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is Paranormality Magazine. For centuries, legends and folklore around the world have told tales of vast underground realms hidden deep within the Earth. From the mythic inner world inhabited by supernatural beings to secret passageways leading to hidden civilizations, the idea of a hollow Earth has captivated the imagination for generations. But is it all merely fiction and fantasy? Or could the planet we call home actually contain vast inner spaces waiting to be explored? Let's look at some of the intriguing evidence and theories that suggest the Earth might indeed be hollow, and maybe even home to advanced underground civilizations, as well as looking at some possible North American entrances to a hollow Earth. The central idea behind the hollow Earth theory is that planet Earth is either entirely hollow or contains substantial interior spaces. Theories range from the Earth containing several hollow areas inside its crust to the conception of a vast underground world entered through polar openings. Some proponents believe the interior spaces are inhabited by humanoid or even supernatural beings with advanced knowledge and technology. Others suggest there may be entrances hidden around the globe that lead to these inner realms. The concept of a hollow Earth has circulated for centuries with some of the earliest references appearing in ancient Greek, Egyptian, and Mesoamerican folklore. In the 17th century, British astronomer Edmund Halley proposed the Earth consisted of several hollow concentric spheres, each with its own atmosphere. Moving into the 19th century, eccentric thinker John Cleves Sims promoted the idea of openings at the poles leading to an inner world, inspiring fictional tales like Jules Verne's Journey to the Center of the Earth. In more recent times, writers like Raymond Bernard have expanded on theories of a hollow Earth inhabited by advanced spiritually enlightened beings. So what evidence lends credence to the possibility that our familiar outer Earth may just be a shell containing a strange and unexplored inner realm? Let's examine some of the key areas that have fueled speculation through the years. Theories of hollow Earth often point to the poles as areas where openings might exist leading to inner worlds. The North and South Poles hold many curious facts that hollow Earth proponents say could be indicative of something unusual hidden beneath the surface ice. For one, why have no humans ever been allowed to independently explore or traverse Antarctica or the Arctic Ocean north of a certain line? What might world governments know about these extreme polar regions they don't want revealed? Some hollow Earth believers point to anomalies in polar explorations, such as Operation High Jump in 1947. Led by Admiral Richard Byrd, the well-equipped American expedition into Antarctica ended abruptly after only a few weeks, with Byrd mentioning in his diary a potential land beyond the South Pole that could be an enchanted continent in the sky, land of everlasting mystery. Was Byrd deliberately silent about an incredible discovery in the Antarctic interior? In the North, mysterious expeditions have aimed for the North Pole, only to go missing or experience catastrophes such as the disappearance of the USS Skate submarine in 1962 after traveling to the Pole area. These and other strange polar occurrences have fueled speculation about what secrets may lurk at the Earth's extremities. Scientific measurements of gravity and the magnetic fields around the poles also point to possible hidden caverns deep inside the Earth. Gravity has been shown to be significantly weaker in areas closer to the polar regions than it should be 
based on standard models of Earth's interior. No one has been able to adequately explain these gravitational anomalies using conventional solid Earth theory. On the other hand, if the assumption is made that openings exist from the poles into hollow inner Earth spaces, the anomalies begin to make sense. Similarly, magnetic fields in the polar areas do not conform to expected patterns, with drifting and unaccountable north-south aberrations that often require recalibration of navigation equipment on airplanes and ships. Changing magnetic fields could be produced by electromagnetic activity inside the Earth interacting with the open polar entrances. Again, this fits with hollow Earth theory whereas the conventional idea of Earth as a solid spinning ball has no reasonable explanation for such odd polar magnetic behavior. Legends from around the world speak of lost civilizations that disappeared below ground or from islands that sank into the sea to become hidden worlds. The Mayans told of the people preceding their culture descending into the mysterious underground realm of Zabalba. Native Americans spoke of the lost continent of Azatlan that became submerged underwater. Are these simply myths or cultural memories of ancient societies that managed to enter the legendary Inner Earth kingdoms? Some Hollow Earth theorists believe the Inner Earth is home to strange beings with advanced intelligence. These could be advanced human descendants of past surface civilizations now living in secret in Inner Earth caverns. Or they might be supernatural or extraterrestrial in nature. The Nazis were rumored to have mounted expeditions to Antarctica and other polar regions in search of entrances to these hidden worlds and make the contact with the inhabitants said to dwell within the Earth. The possibility remains these stories and conjectures may have a core of truth centering around the secret inner Earth reality. If the Earth is hollow, where exactly are the passageways and entrances leading to the mysterious inner worlds? While polar openings could play a role, there are also indications of hidden entry points all around the globe, including some potentially right here in North America. Here are a few speculated locations that have surfaced repeatedly as potential gateways to a hollow Earth. Mount Shasta in Northern California is said to contain secret caverns leading inside the Earth as well as hiding the hidden city Shambhala inhabited by an advanced inner Earth civilization. Local legend speaks of a now lost river canyon once near Shasta that descended deep into the Earth and could enable entry past the surface crust. An extinct volcano, Mount Shasta shows evidence of immense underground tunnels and caverns, making it one of the most supported hollow Earth access points. The Grand Canyon in Arizona contains miles of unexplored, difficult-to-access caves winding through its towering walls. Archaeological discoveries indicate ancient civilizations inhabited these caverns and tunnels, using them as shelter and transportation routes. Does the vast Grand Canyon system link up to inner Earth realms deep below the Colorado Riverbed? Some researchers believe the elevators inside the Great Canyon caverns might descend further than known, hiding tunnels into hollow Earth. Canada's Great Slave Lake was identified by early hollow Earth theorist John Cleve Sims as a possible northern access point to our planet's hidden interior. The enormous and deep lake is shrouded in mystery and legends of a lost subterranean city beneath its cold waters. Magnetic and gravity anomalies have been reported around Great Slave Lake, fueling speculation that something unexplained occupies the seemingly bottomless depths below. Is an entrance to inner Earth realms waiting to be uncovered in this Canadian lake? The Mammoth Cave System of Kentucky is the largest known cave network in the world, spanning over 400 miles of mapped tunnels and caverns. Despite its immense scale, only a fraction of the caves have been studied by modern science. Legends say the original indigenous tribes of the region believed Mammoth Cave led to the inner Earth, warning that deep cave exploration was fraught with danger and required guidance from spirit beings. Does this extensive, still largely unexplored labyrinth hold secrets of inner Earth access and inhabitants? 
Yellowstone National Park sits atop one of the most seismically active locations in North America. The boiling springs and molten caverns just below Yellowstone's surface point to the potential for the area to contain deeper chambers and passageways below the Earth's crust. Yellowstone demonstrates how a geologically volatile area might produce openings and pathways to hidden inner Earth domains, potentially hosting underground civilizations. While Yellowstone's secrets remain well guarded, Hollow Earth truth seekers propose it is a location likely harboring inner Earth access. The hypothesized existence of a hollow Earth remains one of the world's most intriguing mysteries and sources of speculation. While theories of the Earth contain vast inner spaces and civilizations have captured thinkers for centuries, modern science believes they're likely only fodder for science fiction. Yet the anomalies, stories, and clues of an unconventional reality existing below continue to fascinate. As one ancient proverb states, the earth is hollow, and the sky is hollow, and they are each joined to each other. Will future expeditions one day uncover the hidden truth of these worlds and reveal the planet we inhabit is far more than meets the eye? The call of the inner earth still beckons, waiting to share its secrets. Or perhaps somebody knows a phone number to reach King Kong. I hear he lives in a hollow earth, along with Godzilla, and we know those guys are real. University of Queensland physicists have recently published a new study showing how time travel could theoretically occur without resulting in problematic paradoxes like the grandfather paradox. The study, conducted by student Germain Tobar and Professor Fabio Costa, argues that determinism in physics allows for adapting spaces and times to avoid inconsistencies caused by time travelers' actions. So even if a time traveler went to the past to change events, the events would adjust in unexpected ways to still ultimately occur, avoiding paradoxes. Their mathematical model demonstrates how Einstein's theory of general relativity, which predicts time loops, can be compatible with free will and classical physics principles that expect to find outcomes based on a system's initial conditions. While actually engineering time travel remains highly speculative, this new research gives theoretical support to the possibility. As Professor Costa summarized, the maths check out, and the results are the stuff of science fiction. The model essentially shows time finding alternative pathways if a time traveler's actions obstruct the original events that led the time traveler to go to the past in the first place. So far, this proposal to resolve time travel paradoxes remains abstract and contained to mathematical proof, not experimental validation. But it does add an intriguing new perspective to the debate on if and how humanity may someday achieve what is currently only done in movies like Back to the Future – actual time travel not resulting in universe-breaking paradoxes. Deep beneath the bustling streets of major cities like New York and Tokyo, a paranormal mystery persists – the alleged existence of loop stations. These forgotten, underground subway stops are said to exist in dimensions beyond our own reality, frozen pockets of time from eras long past. The lore surrounding loop stations is steeped in urban legend and fringe paranormal theories. According to accounts, these stations can only be accessed by staying on a subway train past its final destination stop. As the train continues onto a runway course, the doors will seemingly reopen into one of these ethereal loop station platforms, trapped in their own dimensional plane. Internet accounts describe an eerie sight upon arriving at a loop station. Ancient tiled floors, flickering dim lighting, and crumbling platforms set a haunting scene. Dusty, vintage advertisements paper the walls while derelict early 20th century subway cars sit unmoved, as though frozen at the moment they were abandoned decades ago. 
In New York City, urban explorers recount discovering decrepit underground tunnel sections and archaic stations not found on any official maps or transit records. Similarly, in Japan, the loop stations take on an even more paranormal reputation. Some insist these forsaken places exist as doorways into alternate parallel worlds. A few urban explorers even claim to have ventured into loop stations only to emerge back in the normal subway system with no perceivable time lapse, as though the stations occupy a realm where the law of physics don't apply. However, most rational explanations write off loop station tales as mythologized versions of old, abandoned, or repurposed transit areas. Still, the haunting idea that our commuter rail system contains gateways to spectral frozen worlds persists in the paranormal fringe. Did early subway workers once catch glimpses of these unsettling pockets of space and time? Or are loop stations merely cautionary allegories of how quickly the march of time renders the new obsolete? Whether rooted in truth or urban folklore, Loop station stories stir the imagination with tantalizing thoughts of secret, interdimensional pathways existing just beyond the shadow of the underground tunnels beneath our feet. The haunting question remains, what lies at the end of the line? The last time anyone saw Kenny Veach was on November 10th, 2014. He told his family that he was going to stay overnight in the Mojave Desert and walked out into the sandy abyss. Kenny was an experienced hiker and explorer. It wasn't uncommon for him to disappear to record videos for his popular YouTube channel. Only this time, he didn't take his camera. He left it behind at his house. Whatever he had in mind, it would not go onto his YouTube account. His car and cell phone were also found, but not his body, nor was any other trace of him. Kenny was no stranger to the Mojave, either. He had logged plenty of time out in those conditions. The temperature out there can get as high as 134 degrees Fahrenheit, 58 Celsius. It would be easy to die from heat exhaustion or dehydration in an area like that. But then why hasn't his body been found yet? The following information is even stranger than that. The story itself could connect to numerous conspiracy theories, and even create new ones. He was in search of a cave that he had named M Cave, as it was shaped like a capital M. He claimed in an earlier video that it made him feel nervous and that he could feel his entire body vibrate. His last video was actually him searching for that cave, but he was unsuccessful. He'd gone out only armed with a 9mm pistol and his camera. The first time he mentioned the mysterious cave wasn't even on his own YouTube channel, but instead was a comment on someone else's video. The video was one entitled, The Son of an Area 5 Technician, by YouTube channel Serious Disclosure. Kenny Veach commented, That ain't nothing. I'm a long-distance hiker. One time during one of my hikes out by Nellis Air Force Base, I found a hidden cave. The entrance to the cave was shaped like a perfect capital M. I always enter every cave I find, but as I began to enter this particular cave, my whole body began to vibrate. The closer I got to the cave entrance, the worse the vibrating became. Suddenly I became very scared and hightailed it out of there. That was one of the strangest things that ever happened to me." Kenny's comment sparked a sensation with his fans, who asked him to look for that cave again. When he was unsuccessful, some of his fans were upset, while others urged him to not look for the cave. They were worried that the dreadful feeling and the vibrations were bad signs and they did not want him to get hurt by whatever may be creating these. Kenny ultimately did not heed this advice and continued searching. Kenny's girlfriend, Sharon Pilgrim, had her own theory as to what happened to him, saying, I believe he committed suicide. He battled depression for many years and would not take medication or see a doctor. He quit his job a little more than a year before he disappeared. One helicopter flyover was done and there was no trace of Kenny or any of his camping things. They found his car in the area I told them it would be. 
They did find his cell phone by the mine shaft in the video. The mine shaft was only about a four-hour hike from his car. It is my feeling he left it behind so he could not be tracked from the GPS in it. He also did not take his video camera with him on this solo hike. It was left in his home, so he had no intention of filming anything. Is it possible that Kenny would do the unthinkable? Or did he find the cave and simply become another spelunking victim, lost forever in the tombs of the earth? One thing we ought to point out is the vibrations he was feeling. There have also been recordings and many reports of people hearing trumpeting sounds across the world, sometimes so loud that the experiencer cannot sleep. Thus far, nobody's been able to declare what these sounds are. From what many have been able to gather, it even baffles scientists, and some even call it a hoax. Are these vibrations connected to the trumpet sounds? Some people even say this is connected to buried experiments being committed by the U.S. government, as it is close to Nellis Air Force Base. Until his body is located, though, these will just be theories. Thanks for listening to Paranormality Magazine. Get more information about the magazine and subscribe to our monthly publication at ParanormalityMag.com. That's ParanormalityMag.com. Or click the link in the show description. And if you're a researcher or investigator, send us your stories. We might feature you in our next issue. If you have a paranormal podcast, you can add it to our website so our readers can find your show. And artists, if you'd like your work to be featured in our magazine or on our back cover, contact us. Again, our website is paranormalitymag.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll have more paranormal for you next time from Paranormality Magazine. <laughs>